Hi there, it's Claire from Clarify Creations, and this is gonna be a super crazy nursing school week in my life, so if you wanna stay tuned for that, it's gonna be an adventure, because guys, I know I've said this before, but this is gonna top everything I've ever had in the past of crazy weeks, because this week is gonna be the most academically challenging week so far. Before I get into it, I wanna say if you guys are new, I'm a junior nursing student about to be a senior in just a few weeks. Fingers crossed I pass all of my classes. I'm also going to the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. Today is Monday and I have a med surge exam today. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, this med surge exam is either going to help me or it's not going to help me because last exam, I didn't do very good. I still passed, but I barely passed. I scraped by and I really don't want to repeat of that. A Eureka presentation. We did a literature review project, so we're printing off posters. The college printed off our posters, and we have to go present it, and it's going to be judged and scored. It's a big competition between all undergraduates. We're supposed to dress up, too, so I've got an extra pair of clothes that are nicer for business casual attire in my backpack because I'm not wearing that to the exam. Classes start at 8. I'm going to be done at 4.30. Med surge exam 10.30 to 12.30. Then I have Eureka from 4 to 6.30. Whenever I get done with psych, I'm going to go straight to Eureka with Sarah and we're going to present and everything. And then tomorrow I have a free day. It's a study day because I have an exam on Wednesday that's pharmacology from 1 to 3. And then Thursday morning, I've got two skills checkoffs. <laughs> coffee from the robots and we are done with the med surge exam we went to sylvia's for lunch and now we're gonna go to eureka we have the poster right there there's sarah putting up our eureka poster good job sarah this is what our poster looks like it's on the effects of exercise on cognitive function in adults with mild cognitive impairment or dementia so guys we're currently at eureka and Sarah met Smokey, and so did I. The real dog. Yeah. The dog in Tennessee. Met Insert pictures now. Yes. So, the official mascot of UT Knoxville. People are coming to us asking us about our posters, and we're just totally winging it. And yeah. Our he was like, blah, 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 blah. And me and Claire were like, <laughs> <laughs> So, it's, it's going. It's going. Good morning everyone. It is currently Wednesday, the day of my farm exam. So you might have noticed I skipped yesterday, which was Tuesday, and I do have a reason for that. I think it's important to share real life with you guys. Yesterday I had a pretty rough start to my studying day because I hadn't started studying till yesterday and I was just feeling really exhausted and just tired and I didn't feel like I was able to focus so I took a moment. I read my devotional and oh my goodness that devotional really spoke to me. It recommended a verse that I thought was perfect so I'm going to share that verse with you guys. It really gave me some encouragement and peace and it helped me tremendously throughout the rest of the day. Therefore, we do not give up. Even though our outer person is being destroyed, our inner person is being renewed day by day. For our momentary light affliction is producing for us an absolutely incomparable eternal weight of glory. So we do not focus on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but on what is unseen is eternal. And that's in 2 Corinthians 4, 6 through 18. And that is something that I really clung to yesterday as I was studying for the farm exam. I said, you know what? God, you have got me this far, and I know that you're going to be able to do this again. He is continuing to get me through nursing school, guys, and that is the truth. On days that I feel like I can't do it anymore, I, I honestly wanted to give up. I wanted to just say, you know what? I'm done. I can't focus. Let's just not do it. But guys, that is not the way to go. You need to keep going. And here we are. So that was kind of my day yesterday. And after I prayed and really focused, I was given renewed energy. 
I felt a lot better about studying and I was able to stay up a lot later than I thought I would be able to. And I didn't get tired, which is amazing. I'm gonna be studying some more and then I'm gonna head over to campus in a couple hours. My farm exam is at one o'clock, so it's currently eight in the morning. Definitely have a few hours to prepare, get lunch with Sarah, and then we're gonna take the exam. Okay guys, we're currently at con and we just finished practicing our mastery skills. This is my bag. Where's your bag? This is my fancy bag. Yeah, the bag full of con approved practice Top materials. Secret materials. We have skills checkoffs tomorrow. She has hers at, in the morning sometime? Yes, in the morning. Mm -hmm. And mine are at 1130. So that's what we've been up to. And then now we're, well, I'm going to go home. She's going to go back to her place. In my place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm back home and I'm just going to spend the rest of the night practicing my skills to make sure I'm ready to check off tomorrow. Really hope I am because there is very little room for error. You have to make an extremely high score to pass. The farm exam though, that went really good. I'm so excited because I actually feel confident about it. I feel like I'm thinking I got an A. Hope so but we'll have to see. I'm pretty sure if I didn't get an A, it's fine, but I'm pretty sure I did well. And that's a big relief. It was nothing compared to Med Surge. I mean, wow, Med Surge, it doesn't even make farm look significant at all. Guys, I just got my Med Surge exam grades back and I honestly thought that I had failed the exam. I convinced myself that I was gonna be out of nursing school and that I would have to repeat med surge and I was so wrong. I ended up getting a 90.5%. That's an A minus and I just wanna glorify the Lord in all of this because I don't know where it came from. Honestly, it is an absolute miracle that I ended up doing so well considering the fact that I almost failed the last exam. So I just want to encourage you guys that if you're also in a similar position, if you're struggling in school, it is okay to struggle. Wow, this journey of nursing school is really, really crazy. And guys, it's hard. It's exhausting. I know that it's gonna all be so worth it in the end. All right, guys, I am in con attire. Got my scrubs on, and I'm also gonna be getting my white shoes on and everything, did my hair. So now that means that I just need to drive to the College of Nursing and get these two skills checked off on. I'm walking to the nursing building, and I'm definitely starting to feel super nervous, trying to remain calm and positive and know that I actually do know this because I practiced so many times. I passed both of my skills. We're at Sylvia's. I got some chicken tacos and what did Nacho Sarah get? Nachos. Supreme. <laughs> Update, Sarah and I are obviously back at the house. Well, my house, not her house because her house is not close. But she wants to say something. I'm really hungry. Yes. <laughs> she walked in the house and said, I'm hungry. And then she looked at our pantry and decided on an appropriate snack. So now we are watching one of the best shows, Heartland. Comment down below if you've seen Heartland. I'm on season three and I really love it. Good morning, everyone. Sarah and I last minute decided that we're gonna be going to Match Patch, and that's in Asheville, North Carolina, around an hour and a half drive from Knoxville. Take a guess what time it is, because we're gonna go to watch the sunrise. Let's see. Oh, 3.40 in the morning. So I'm gonna be driving, and she's gonna be my navigator. We're gonna hope that we don't get lost. Drive up there 
was not, not what I expected. Uh, she, she thought <laughs> that you you wouldn't have to drive up a mountain. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> The potholes, some of them were just incredibly deep, and the car went like that in one of them. And it was. For it all was you a... country folks out there, she's not used to back roads. No, no. <laughs> I've driven back roads a handful of times ever in my life. So it was crazy. So this is the trail, and we're hiking towards the summit. And the sunrise is supposed to be in 10 minutes. We can see the horizon so far. It's looking so beautiful. The skies are pink and purple. Just watched a very beautiful sunrise and look at that fresh morning hair. Yeah, <laughs> that mountain hair. Oh yeah. It's a really nice way to end this crazy week off because it has been a long journey. Many tears were shed and it's okay. Nursing school is hard. Very hard. But it's not hard for God. Now we're currently sitting on a beach towel. But at the mountains. Mm-hmm. Beach to the mountains and enjoying the We should just keep view. driving and go to the beach. That road was something else. Highly recommend if you come to Max Patch, you need to bring a higher up vehicle. It's not that it can't be done. It's just going to make your life a whole lot easier if you have four-wheel drive and a good sturdy car. <laughs> because it was a bumpy road. The birds are chirping away and we do need to drive down that mountain so you're not going to be seeing any of me because I'm going to be focused. It's Saturday and I didn't see you guys yesterday after we came back because I was incredibly exhausted. That's what happens when you're not used to waking up super early. We got back home yesterday around 10.30ish or something like that. It was pretty early in the day. I will see you guys later. Bye. Help is on the way. I'm walking to the nursing. That is UT in a nutshell. After, after, after.